Hello and welcome to the installation instructions video for Empire War Expanded Fall of the Republic 0.5. In this video I'll show you how to download and install the mod for the Steam version of Empire War Forces of Corruption using either the Steam Workshop or Mod Database. Unfortunately we cannot currently do a release for the GOG and Disk version or Origin version of the game. Uh, those don't have some official patches from Petroglyph so it requires a bit of additional work to figure out what we're able to support or not. We're going to do our best to get a release out for those in the future, but at the moment it's just not possible. I'm going to start off by showing you how to do it for the Steam Workshop, and at the end of the video I'm also going to show a bit on how to improve performance in Empire at War, uh, because it is an old game that can only use uh, one CPU core. So, first off, with the Steam Workshop, all you need to do is click this button right here, you just go to the Steam Workshop page for Empire War Expanded Fall of the Republic. There's going to be a link to that and the mod database page in the description. And you click subscribe. This will start the download process. All you need to do is click that and it'll start downloading and installing. Uh, so if you go to your downloads page, you'll be able to uh, see information on that as it happens. But once it's finished downloading and you'll know when your items are all complete, you can go copy this from the bottom, you just need the mod ID, which is also the same as the number you have up here, but the easiest way to do this is this way. Then you go to your library, right click on Empire War Forces of Corruption, set launch options, I'm currently technically counted as in-game, that's why it's not starting the download, but you just paste Steam mod equals 197639902. And that'll let you launch directly into the game. Alternatively, there is also an in-game mod launcher that Empire at War has if you launch directly into the base game, but doing it this way that I just showed you allows you to launch directly into the mod, and it's a lot more reliable than Empire at War's launcher, which can often uh, stop it from relaunching in the mod. It's very annoying to use. So I strongly suggest either doing that or doing what I've done here and go to add a game, add an on Steam game, browse and you want to go to your Steam, Steam Apps. All right, so you go into your Steam Apps Corruption, or Star Wars Empire War Corruption, and add the Star Wars G.exe there. This will make a copy of it down in your library, where it'll be around here. So then you just right click, Properties, Set Launch Option, like that. And I'm gonna change this name to Fall of the Republic, so it's a unique name. And then you'll be able to just go in your library directly to Fall of the Republic, and you can launch in directly that way while keeping your regular Empire at War clean. The other way to do it is to uh, go to Mod Database, and the file can be found right here. There will be a link again to this in the description. There will be a download link, which you will save into your corruption folder, and then you'll want to go into your mods folder. Uh, if you don't have a folder named mods, you can create one. The important thing is just that your path looks like this. And then if you've saved the fall of the republic.zip file here, you can right click it and do extract here. Or there'll, there may be a different name for that depending on which program you're using, but you want to go with that one. I already have that one file, but this will create this Fall of the Republic folder here. And you'll want to make sure when you go from Mods to Fall of the Republic, you end up with a data folder there. There can be cases where people use the wrong option and they'll end up with Mods, Fall of the Republic, and then instead of this folder being called Data, they'll end up with another folder called Fall of the Republic, and that's what you don't want. That means you've gone one folder too deep, but you can just go inside that, copy the data folder out, and put it there. So the way you launch the mod this way, if you've done it with that method of installation, I'll edit the same one I added here. Properties, set launch option, and rather than the Steam mod equals part, you will do mod path equals mods slash fall of the republic. And whichever way you've done that, you should now be able to launch the game, and you'll be in Fall of the Republic. 
So next, I'll just exit out of the game and show you guys some tips on how to improve your performance in Empire at War. Okay, so you may notice that, especially in mods with larger galactic maps, you get a lot of slowdown on the galactic level. Even if you have a relatively new computer, the reason for this is that Empire at War is only able to take advantage of uh, one CPU core. So you could have a, like an octo-core processor, and the game won't really care. It's really just the base clock speed that it cares about. However, there are ways to improve your performance with that. So while you have Empire at War open, you can open your task manager, go to the Details tab, right-click on the Star Wars G.exe, or if you're using the Disk or GOG version, the SWFOC.exe, the process will still be the same. And then you'll see options to either set affinity or set priority. First, you want to set the priority to the highest it can be for your processor. Next, you want to set the affinity to what I've shown here, or any two, uh, any two cores there. It doesn't matter which two, just reduce it down to two so it'll focus on those. Then you just have to click OK, apply the changes, and it should perform a lot better. You can see significant improvements from just doing this one simple step. Again, it will depend on your computer's course, uh, course or CPU core speed, and it is an old engine, so there's only so much it can do. It can't take advantage of modern processor technology as well as other new games can, but hopefully this will help smooth out your performance, especially if you want to play on large maps. In the mod, this is why we do have maps of various sizes there, so that there should be something that performs well for everyone. But if you want to get a few more frames out of it, sometimes uh, people have gone from 2 frames per second to up to 30. So they can be very significant gains. Either way, hope you're enjoying the mod. If you have any questions about the content, you can leave them on the YouTube channel here. There are some videos about it. There's also going to be a link to the Discord channel that the mod uses for bug reports as well as just general discussion. And there is also a link to an overview of the new features in the mod as a kind of beginner's guide for people who may not be used to the mechanics of Empire or Expanded. On top of that, if you enjoy our Clone Wars mod for the Republic, you may also enjoy our mod for the post or period Thrawn's Revenge. There will be a link to that in the description as well. Either way, thanks for watching, hope you're enjoying the mods, and hope to see you next time.